what your overall thoughts on the game were? Well, first of all, I think that it feels a little bit like mixed feelings in the sense that probably you know, only getting one point from a game like this is not enough. At the same time, I'm happy about some parts of the performance, uh, especially I would say the start of the game. I think we start brilliant, uh, not only because of the goal, but previously we got a clear goal chance with the Smithy. We put the kind of pressure that we want to put uh, the games at home uh, to create that momentum together with our supporters. And unfortunately, I think that after the goal, slowly we start to, I wouldn't say lose the control of the game, but perhaps allowing Plymouth to get too long in, in the ball, uh, get too long possessions. Um, to be fair, they got Hardy at the top, which is a very good striker when he has space to run him behind. They got uh, Whitaker, that we know that he's, he showed today that he's capable to, to have a big influence on the scores. With just a couple of things in the halftime, obviously, after they got the red car, we, we saw quite similar scenario than last season. Similar, uh, early red car, a team that probably will feel encouraged by the fact that with 10 men, they need to try something else. And that was the case. Uh, we adjust something in the halftime. I think we attack much better, especially the first 25, 30 minutes of the second half. Create a lot of chances. The keeper was outstanding. <clears throat> and then, of course, every minute that, that it goes, it's more energy for, for Plymouth. And that was the case. I think the way we attacked the last yeah, 10 minutes, 15 minutes was too emotional, not the way we, we should have attacked. And yeah, a uh, bit, bit feeling a little bit, of course, disappointed about getting only one point. Well, we feel like we should have had, we should have had a penalty. I don't know. I'm not a ref. Uh, I, I don't know. I just saw that for me it was a, not an easy game to, 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 to ref for Gavin. I think he, yeah, in my opinion, both red cars were clear. Uh, but yeah, what I, I, I'm not sure about this situation because it was very far from me. Marty, it feels a bit similar to after the West Brom game where you score the early goal and then maybe lose the initiative. A bit of a concern at the moment. It's an area to improve, not concern, because concern it will be when I look at the stats, when I look at how how good football we play for some minutes. Um, there is no time to be concerned. Uh, my concern will be if we were not if we were not looking as a team that knows how what is trying to do. Then of course the areas to improve, but um, yeah, perhaps it's something that we need to, as I said, uh, adjust. It's a lot of new faces as well. This is more half a second or second that you're a bit late on the pressure. It's enough against some good players, like Wendell is a good player, Turning, I think uh, the other guy, uh, yeah, Gnari, what was his name? Yeah, I forgot the other midfielder. Did a good game in possession. So when we need to adjust those small details, it just takes time about relations. So today we started with Gary as a number 10, Madsen in an important role as a number 8. Um, yeah, it's about, it's about making sure that those pieces glue together as soon as possible. And why did you decide to change the two strikers at half time? Basically, because Cookie was feeling very tired, so um, Koki Saito, and um, yeah, we felt that it was a good way against the ten men to put a little more pressure inside the box, because we felt that that according to the way we wanted to attack, the build up phase shouldn't be an issue, and we tried to strike. I think it worked really well uh, for the first 20-25 minutes until Michi was completely exhausted. And then, unfortunately, we lost a little bit of presence inside the box because that's his, probably his best attribute. I think he did a very good game. Uh, but perhaps, yeah, uh, this is more like this. I think that that shows that we are uh, working progress or a team that is developing and, and in construction. Uh, Koki, I think that it would be very, very good on these game scenarios against low blocks. But unfortunately, after 45 minutes, we felt that he was a bit tired. Uh, the plan was for him to play perhaps 50, 55, no more than that. But we wanted to give as well a signal sometimes about about the energy and creating some some message both to your own team and to the opposition uh, by bringing Zan in and, and I think that we did well as I said until Katie as you know he was cramping from minute 80 he was so exhausted so stretching a bit more minutes than what what we plan or what it was optimal and at the same time a little bit the same with um, with uh, Nico Nico was very tired at the end and I was talking to him and he was feeling of course long week with traveling with everything so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied, but again, areas that we need to slowly improve to make sure that, yeah, in a game like this, we get the three points. And it started to feel a bit rushed towards the end as well. Would you like to see a bit more composure in that situation? Definitely. I think I think it's a bit mistake. I think it's a bit mistake, and I get it because it's very emotional for a player when you're inside the pitch and you see that you're getting chance, and chance after chance. You want to go a little more straight. You want to attack every ball, and sometimes it's about making sure that, that perhaps it takes a little bit longer. 
but uh, the reward will be bigger because it not only allows if you don't score when you go too fast then the transition is longer and, and that gives opportunity to the position that gets play more they got to strike as far as Harding the second half the guy that they just got uh, yesterday but are really fast runners and that gives them a momentum in terms of stretching the pitch again regaining a little bit some time and so on and instead if you travel together first of all you have more quality situations to finish and second your transition is much sharper so it's it's something that we definitely need to improve and you decided to throw nicholas madison straight in uh, why did you decide to start him straight away and what did you make of his performance because of because of the situation we were because of of uh, what we think he can contribute to the team because of yeah injuries uh, players available and so on at the end of this is a is a mix that, that I try to take the best decision. Uh, I like his performance. I think that he's a player that showed today that uh, is a midfielder that can help us to break lines, that can help us to attack with more quality, that can connect as well with the wingers, uh, that he has a good second line runs, that he will give us goals and, and chances from the second line, and that he has a, a very good technique as well in, in the smaller spaces. So I'm happy uh, after just two, two trainings. I think he did really well. And no Linden at all today. What can you tell us about that? I just pick players based on availability. Um, yeah. So he, he wasn't available? He wasn't available. Is there a reason why an injury? He was not available. And uh, yeah, I tried to focus as well on the players that are in the pitch that did a good job. I think today Michi had a very good game. Zan had uh, good chances that he created almost by, by himself. So I'm very happy to see that Ibarri is stepping up. Do you expect Linden to be here this time next week? I don't know. Okay, and obviously it's the last week of the transfer window. You're expecting it to be busy, and you've managed to get in a few over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think that uh, yeah, it is still open window for everybody. So as I said many times, the club knows what I think. Uh, I think uh, some players that have come in have, have been showing that that it was exactly what we needed, and it's just about making sure that we maximize our opportunities in the next five days. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. He looks like a very good player. We're very happy that he's here. Um, yeah, he's this uh, kind of player that I think that fits very well on QPR's history and tradition about the player that likes to be in the ball, in possession, that, that is a constant threat for the position. And I'm very satisfied the way he's adapting so quick to our concerts and, and what we expect from him. Uh, yeah, I think that the club can confirm the details about, about, about this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.